Hello everyone. Hope you're doing quite well. Moose is Chaos Sector. And we're raiding. Well, sex some ass, right? So different kinds of options here. I'm assuming this is Game Pass supported. Maybe nope. Okay, thank you, sure. Turn down uh, video settings. Now, again, the gameplay so far is a very Advanced Wars style. Loose looking at the uh, screen here. So you can unlock both sides by simply well, playing through it, looks like. Emerald, we caught up to them. The Mishi pirates are on the front. The hell do I keep unlocking? I keep looking over. I shit you not, I keep seeing achievements here, hold on. I got a 10 achievements just now from fucking locking and <laughs> signing up the game, holy shit! This is fantastic. Emerald, we caught up to them, Amishi pirates on the front! The main force of our fleet is outflanking the enemy, which is expected to reach the battlefield within 100 standard time units. Well, we don't have to wait for the main force to smash the thieves. Attack! Yeah, this is literally like Advance Wars. In a good way, obviously. The music is really fantastic. It's like a mixture between Fire Emblem, Advance Wars. Can I use the Eva USD and all that, or I have to click? Definitely Vanguard Bandits inspired. I, I love Vanguard Bandits. Um, one of the things that made me sad though is I can't, I don't have it anymore. It makes me kind of bug. Um... Sorry, attack that samurai. Cannon. 
economy is eliminated. Gonna move right there. Attack. Communication channels connected. Hello, everybody. Imperial North Sky Fleet surrounded you. No. Is there a last station for us? I am Ben Tamaru, the leader of the Mishi Pirates. Kill me and take my head, but please let my brothers go. From the Loong Tribute State Ship Group, after you snatched the cargoes, you sunk all the unarmed crews. You are all scum without humanity. No one can get let go. Well, since there's no surrender option, the only there it can only be a fight to the death. Even face enemy tenfold of us, we have to fight to the uh, even face enemy tenfold of us. Okay, sorry. Some of the the way the sentencing is paced, it's a little tricky to read it. I mean, it's it's legible. It's just it confuses the shit out of me sometimes. And I'm I'm just being honest here. Um. Admiral, a large number of unknown biological signals appear near the radar. The number is so huge. What? Hey, look, anti monsters. The main force of our fleet is completely silent. It's hard to believe that dozens of ships were all sunk in a flash. There's no mere unidentified biological signals in the radar. But there are more biological signals in the radar. What is this monster? That giant beast, I'm afraid its body is huger than thousands of ships. That is... the worst one. That's a terrorist cosmetic scourge that has destroyed thousands of stars and hundreds of thousands of warships in our galactic empire ten years ago. Second alien impact. Admiral, my communication, we do not have to retreat immediately. Our survival is probably only one zero 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 one percent. Leave those pirates be. All ships immediately turn to retreat. Run out of the illusion I thingy. The main force of the North Sky fleet were sunk. Others had fled. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. We've been saved from the pursuit of Imperial Feet. Leader, leave the Imperial Feet. We do not have to evacuate from Larson immediately. These cosmic disasters will come to us. It is an interesting witness to this event. Ten years ago, the impact of the Pale Dragon caused the decline of the Empire. And my country destroyed by the nuclear annihilation. What does this alien impact bring? Now retreats! The chaotic... <laughs> now retreat. It could have been now retreat. Yeah, fuck it, fuck it. Uh, the chaotic times are coming in. Let's make a scene of in the future. Let's make a scene in the future. Future? Is it future? Future. Future. And I'm not trying to, Again, this is not me trying to make fun of the person who translated all this and put this... You know, and you know, into text here. It, it, it's I'm a grateful person that they did this. Uh, there's certain things um, they did when they translated some of this. Yeah, like. But as far as the game goes, it has a pretty good combat system. It's a very reminiscent that of Advanced Wars. It feels, you know, like the story is forefront. And it has like a good uh, conflict system here. My commanders, what are your suggestions to the plan of our army in this week? As long as we can master enlarge we can master enlarge enemy we can 
Master and large NG pack, our troops will play a greater role on the battlefield. By hack into the enemy's internal network, the hard shells the master weakness of forts and Songshang. Let's please let's let the hard shell blow up the fort. Okay, now I can select the best plan. Let's take Jade's advice. Large energy pack research completed. Jade prestige plus two. Jade political plus one. Save this. Slot one. Okay. So yeah. I mean, it seems like that might be all the game in a nutshell. It has a nice, hefty amount of, you know, democracy. It has a good element of, you know, di I mean, besides me teasing the dialogue in terms of some of the grammar, it is pretty uh, competent. So it ain't like they're not giving you a... So it's like they're giving you a story that makes sense. Um... It's just the translation is kind of off, is all. The graphics to me look fantastic. You know, it's very reminiscent of, again, Vanguard Bandits, uh, Fire Emblem. There's, a, there's another game that was in space, and I cannot remember it on the SNES at the moment. It's escaping me. Um, so I'll just rule out, like, a, it, it's kind of like Gundam 2 tactics, or SD tactics. But otherwise... I think the game's passable for sure. I don't have any complaints about it. The music's fantastic in it. And the combat's good. Um, there's a little tiny wincy tinsy bit of chunk within the clicking where it feels kind of awkward at points. But other than that, it works fine. And the combat, especially the, you know, animations are pretty cool. So, otherwise, if you're looking for an advanced war game for the PC, I definitely think this one hits at home. At least from my impressions of it so far. So, anyway, that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Take care.